Good morning, everybody. So it's Wednesday. Wednesday seems to be my day. Tuesday, not so much. <laughs> anyway, so I want to begin with a thought. I'll plant this in your mind, okay? For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of of God. Think about that. You and I often think that faith is my doing. It's something that I come up with, that I hold on to, that I plan. Not so much. We have a faith that has been given to us by the gift of God. So I've been reading a book called Metamorphosis. So you're probably not going to find it. It's kind of an obscure book. It's actually an autobiography written by the doctor that was sort of at the forefront of COVID. Um, he was the doctor that was treating in upstate New York. His name is uh, Dr. Zelenko, Zeb Zelenko. And I became interested in him for a variety of reasons. An Orthodox Jew, um, very faithful, religious, all of that. And I was shocked, frankly, that he used to be an atheist, which is why I bought the book, which is why I'm reading it. Okay, gives you an idea. So my question to you this morning on the heels of thinking about faith and thinking about the fact that our faith is a gift from God how long would it take for us to not be faithful? So, or what would it take in our life to not have faith? So, Zeb Selenko was raised in Russia. Russia or the Ukraine, you know, how borders change. But he was raised by Jewish parents at the time. He was born in 1973. Um, born at the time when you weren't allowed to practice your faith, and especially the Jewish faith. Um, he had relatives that were that died in the camps um, during World War II, and. When you look at the, his story, his history, frankly, it took one generation for faith, their Jewish faith, to be erased. And I think that's true of all faith. All it takes is one generation for a family to lose faith. We hear this in the Psalms. I don't know that I'm going to give you any great answer to this, but stay with me for a second. In the Psalms, I'm always struck when I read this. This is Psalm, I believe, 102. Let this be written for ages to come that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. I remind you and I that faith depends on faithful people to remain faithful, to pass along the faith, and to become stronger and stronger in your relationship with God as Catholic Christians, our relationship is directly through Jesus Christ. And so on this Wednesday morning, ask yourself the question, how strong is my faith? How much do I share my faith with my family, with my friends? We live in a world that doesn't want to hear about faith. Um, I'm blessed. I work in a church. And so talking about faith all day is okay. And I do. And I, you know, I become complacent, I believe, you know, because it's a gift that I should cherish. 
because if I were working in some secular, secular <laughs> can't say it, environment, I perhaps wouldn't be given that same gift. So this weekend, go to Mass, one of the strongest ways that we can support our faith. So go to Mass, receive the sacraments, pick up your Bible, know what we believe, know who Jesus is, know our faith. And in all of that, know that we have been given the opportunity to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And one of the best ways we could do that is to pray every day. Let prayer become an addiction in your life. So on this mercredi, sorry, I, I love the way the French say Wednesday. Anyway, so on this Wednesday, may God bless you with a deeper sense of the importance of your faith. And may you be inspired to continue to deepen it. Thanks be to God for the faith that we have been given.